Students are gearing up to head back to school, and many students are wondering what their year will look like. Stewartville Public Schools announced their plans for what students can expect. ABC 6 News Good Morning reporter Samantha Boring shows us how students in the special education program are planning to adjust this fall. Samantha. Good morning, Rachel. Well, I heard from one parent and teacher in Stewartville who wants the best for her son and his needs, but wants to keep him safe as well. The first week was tough. That's how teacher and parent Kim Severson felt when her children moved to distance learning back in March. Kim works with children of all ages who are in the special needs program in the Stewartville School District. Her eight-year-old son Beckett has autism and speech apraxia and has been receiving special services since he was three. It's a special little thing for me because I get to see that um, growth and development with these kids and what I want for my son. She wants her son and the more than 300 others in the district's special education program to be able to learn safely. It's something they had to quickly adjust to back in March. That was um, a huge change when you're going from really individualized services to now all of a sudden trying to figure out how we're going to do them online. With different disabilities and needs, the district worked hard to help students. We did our best to meet them for the unique needs of each student. I had case managers that would start getting on those calls at 7 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock at the night because we wanted to make sure that we were working with the schedule for the families more than for us. For this fall, elementary students will be in person and middle and high school will be hybrid. And for the kids in special education, they will learn through a hybrid model. But if a student's needs are more than what a hybrid can give, the district will work to help these students. Nervousness about do I send him? Do I not? You know, what's best for him? Of course, school is the best for him, but I want to keep him safe. I think um, we just need to try to make the best of it. To be back in the classroom, learning and working through tough times, no matter the situation. Well, students are expected to head back to school in the month of September, and case managers will continue to work individually with special needs students and their families to meet their needs. Rachel? Samantha, thank you.